What the heck is he doing? Sun and shine, lollipops and rainbows, everything that's wonderful. What are you doing? You're desecrating a war memorial. What's up, everybody? Sleet here, and I have another video uh, teaching you about video editing. So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about subtitles, alright? Uh, and it's going to be an unedited video. So, yeah. Alright. So, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about subtitles. So, first, um,. I see a lot of people when they edit videos, they just like in order to make what they do to make subtitles, they just get some text and uh, you know, they just slap it on like just raw text, okay? Um, usually it's just white text, just regular white text, all right? Well, it's not letting me change the color. Why is it not changing the color? All right, well, don't mind that, but listen. If you want to make good looking text, just watch this uh, video here. All right. So actually, let me get a white background so it's easier to see. Um, so yeah, let me get a white background and put the text on top. So right now we have our raw text. So I'm gonna teach you like how to make your text look good, how to do uh, like text transitions and stuff. So it doesn't just like cut. I mean, it is a separate style, like to just have uh, text just cut to the next thing, like you kind of saw in the intro there. But uh, I'm gonna show you here like different stuff you can do. So first, first thing first, if you're gonna add text, add a stroke to it at least. All right. If you add a stroke, to, okay. This text is being stupid right now, so I'm gonna make a new one. So, all right, raw text. All right, uh, the stroke is already applied to it. So usually it starts off without the stroke. Why is it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, there we go. All right, usually it starts off without the stroke, but just add a stroke to it. And then already it looks a little bit better. And then what you can do is you can add a shadow to it. Then bam, that has a little bit more flavor to it, you know? And you can mess around with the shadow some people like the shadow to be solid some people like it to be you know like an actual shadow me i kind of like it i kind of like it more solid you know but uh it all really also like depends on what font you're using and you can mess around with the angle too until you get something that you like like that looks pretty good to me and you know that's uppercase so i'll put it in lowercase so you see how it looks now just compare that, compare that to, uh, let's say I take off the stroke, take off the shadow, compare that to this, oh, that's not a good comparison, hold on, let me put it next to each other, compare this one to that one, obviously you want this one because that one looks way better, alright, so I taught you about uh, how to make your font look good or your text look good. So now I'm going to show you how to transition between them. So there's different ways uh, to transition text. Like if you're, all right, let me let me just uh, change the, let me change the text to something else. All right. So I'm going to name it first, and then I'm going to cut it in half, and then go to the other one and name this second. So what I see uh, some people do is they. They go to the text, right? And they add directional blur. Uh, and then they set it to, where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Oh, right here. So they set it to 90 degrees and then, wait, no, not 90, just zero. Ah, oh, 90 here, my bad. 90 degrees, all right? And then they keyframe the blur length just put it up to some crazy number and then do the same thing for the other one. Just change the direction to 90, blur length, put it at like some crazy number, move a few keyframes forward and bam. So some people like to do that. Um, some people, some people like to do like the, uh, just the, 
pop in text here. I'll show you what I mean right now. So put the scale to zero, uh, move forward a, Q, a few keyframes, not a few few frames. <laughs> what am I saying? All right, and then put it to like 110 and then um, wait, hold on. <laughs> My bad, my bad. I'm not supposed to be messing with that. I'm supposed to be uh, using this one here. So yeah, put it to zero and then move forward like a few. Put it to like one, let's put it at 115. And then move forward a couple more. And then just put it to like back to 100. And then you get like that sort of uh, pop out effect. Hold on, let me fix it get that sort of kind of thing see how it like just pops out and then yeah so and then you have people who don't do anything and uh, they pretty much they pretty much uh, they just do like a simple cut so you know bam all right so those are like three of the main ways to to uh, like edit your text. And I'm going to show you an easy way uh, to use all of those ways. So basically, if you want to use the directional bar one, what I suggest you do right is uh, make a preset. So all you have to do is uh, you just have to add your directional blur, go to the beginning, change the direction to 90, uh, blur length, zero. No, no, not zero. I put it to a high number, move forward a few, uh, put it back to zero, and then go to the end and do the same thing, but backwards. All right, all right, all right. So you have that. Now, what you want to do is right click on the directional blur, click on save preset, and then uh, scale. All right, all right. And then basically what you can do now is you can take, let me duplicate this text. Um, all of these texts right here, you can highlight them and you can go to your presets and you can find your directional blur preset and just drag it onto them. And then now all of the text layers have the directional blur. So that's way faster. And for the scale one, um, basically all you have to do is just duplicate it. Uh, yeah, so once you have the first one done, like just duplicate it and then you'll be good to go. So, that's a lot about text in Premiere Pro. Uh, now I'm gonna show you some stuff that you can do in After Effects. So if I uh, go into After Effects, uh, you may see things that, like where people, where people can like uh, do like a typewriter effect. And there's a lot of ways to do specific things uh some ways are easier than others some ways are harder than others so i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you a few ways that you can do things so uh here i'm gonna show you the typewriter one so i'm just gonna type something here all right uh a line i'm gonna put it in the center and then i'm gonna go to um text anime scale and then put this at zero right and go to the range selector and then you see if i move this if i move the start position then it's going to uh, make these go one by one and um Let's see, there's one more thing that you can do. Uh, let's see, units, index. 
All right, so if we change that to index, it should go letter by letter, so it shouldn't like animate. It should just like, uh, just compare that. Here, let me actually make a keyframe for you. So compare it, let me make it slower. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, bruh. Hold on, bitters. I wanna put this down a bit, all right. So compare that. Wait, no, that's actually still pretty, uh, that's actually still animated. So, if I turn the smoothness down to zero, it should, yeah, it should just, should just be a straight typewriter. It shouldn't like do anything. It shouldn't do any animating. But when you turn the smoothness back up, it does indeed animate. Um, so yeah, boys, that's pretty much all you need to know about uh, text. And guys, please comment below any ideas that you have for a video editing tutorial because I want to start making tutorials on video editing since I kind of started growing a fan base on video editing. So, uh, yeah, guys, and if we get 100 likes on this video, then I'll show you how I made the intro fully, all right? So, thank you, everyone, for watching the video, and I'll catch you next time on uh, somewhere. Later, guys.